Mom. Mom, wake up. What? Mom, it's Tobin at the end. Something's wrong. What's wrong? The fire alarm's going off. Stupid alarm. It's always doing that. Tell him if he doesn't smell smoke to reset it. And tell him he's fired, and I'm going to kick his ass around the lobby for waking me up. He sounds freaked. No. Yeah. Tobin, what? Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Get dressed. What is it? Get dressed, get dressed. Just run the floor in, up there. Dispatch, what's got the first engine ladder in the roof. First engine. And we need PD for traffic control. Oh, my thank God. Hey, what's going on? This is Laura like Gilmore. What's going on? In a minute, ma'am. Yeah, Mom, let him do his thing. You're right. Suki, Michelle, um, is everyone out? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, we're sure. The fire department's sure. We did a head count. We need to double check, triple check. Julio, he doesn't start till 6, but sometimes he comes here early because his sister-in-law, Rita, gives him a ride on her way to work in Salisbury. Oh. Ah, uh, Julio, Julio, oh, I'm so glad to see you, you beautiful man. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm Chief Baker. Oh, I'm sorry, I jumped on you. That's okay. The good news is this is almost out. The structure is stable, and you're probably going to be able to get back in in about 24 hours. Excellent. 24 hours, the structure's stable. Thank you. That's okay. The statue of you is going up just as soon as we get back in. 80 feet tall. I'm looking forward to it. Here we go, guys, phase two. Loving the pace here. Um, we need food, we need computers with internet, we need phones. Michelle, I need you on this stat. Hurry, hurry. Oh, Rory. Yeah. Um, help the guests with the kids, make sure they're not freaked out, gather them up and entertain them for a while so the adults can catch their breath. Right. I have never entertained kids. How do I do that? Uh, take your socks off and do a puppet show. You've clearly never entertained kids either. That's all I can think of. Get cracking. Yes, ma'am. Hi, everybody. Good morning. And, uh, whoa, talk about your change of plans here. Unfortunately, you uh, can't get your stuff out for at least a day. However, if you want to get home immediately, we will check planes, trains, whatever you need. We will send your stuff to you later as soon as we get it. But if you can't get home yet, we will provide everything, short of anything illegal. And that's going to start with the best breakfast of your lives. <laughs> So can you go to the market and get whatever food and supplies we need for breakfast? Going. Hey, hurry on with... The Cheshire Cat Inn. Oh, great. I find people places to sleep. Excellent. Yes, uh, my name is Michel Girard. I used to work at the Independence Scene, And I was wondering if there were any positions available. <laughs> Phone's computer. I'm on it. What? What is this? Phase two. Phase two? Okay. Into the back, guys. March! Hold on. Those guys yeah. can't go back there. Oh, we're in luck. Lots of empty places. Go on and take your seats, guys. Well, like, what is this? We had a fire. Fire where? Weston's Bakery. You're kidding. They'll have fresh blueberries. Perfect. Um, Weston's, hurry. Where? Weston's caught fire? No. Yeah. The inn. Your inn? Just move all the loose stuff aside. We don't need it. Hey, wait a minute. Everyone's fine. The inn's still standing. We're into phase two. What is phase two? Just yeah. shove it aside. What are you doing? Making breakfast. You can't make breakfast here. Got any plates that aren't cracked? You're the one that's cracked. Nice thing to say to a pregnant woman. You're pregnant? Would you be any farther behind? Yo, Caesar, help my guys and there's a 20 in it for you. We both can't be making different stuff at the same time. I know you're right. Uh, listen, all you people who were here before we invaded, are you willing to cancel your current orders for Suki's famous blueberry lemon pancakes, Belgian waffles, or bananas foster? Sure. Sounds good. OK, pull all the Luke stuff off the grill. Let's get cooking. I'm an island. Luke, I'm sorry about all this, but I'm not anticipating the inn catching fire ever again, so it's a one-time only thing, OK? Like I have a choice? You do. Say the word and we go. Stay, cook, eat. I'll be upstairs. You're a doll. No, get rid of it. Dump it. Dump it. I don't want to see it. Where are you going? I told you to take out the garbage. Nag, nag, nag. I want to watch football and sit in my reclining chair. <laughs> get back here. I'm going to get you. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, hold on a second. No, keep going. Oh, calm down there, little scooter. I'll be right back. Hey, Sherry Lewis, how's the show going? Oh, uh, they're riveted. Good. Yeah, but I stink. I keep repeating the same stuff over and over again. Must be working. But I named them Mr. and Mrs. Sock Puppet. I put no energy into this. Come back, Rory. <laughs> you would think that a lame old sock puppet show would bore them to tears. It's your narrative skills. I mean, is he going to take the garbage out? Is he not going to take the garbage out? I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> yeah, but they won't let me stop, and I have to get to school eventually. OK, hey, guys. Go on over to the diner and have breakfast with your families, and then ask the nice man in the baseball hat and the flannel shirt to do sock puppets for you. And if he says no, just ask him louder. It's part of the game. Oh, boy. Go. You're cool, and I love you.